Hey, what's up everyone? Surreal Canon here. Welcome back for more Disgaea D2. In the last episode, we uh, went into a staff-only area and got uh, beat up by some security guards, but we beat them up in exchange. It was a fair exchange of services. Now then, uh, let's go talk to some guys. Treasures were in your heart all along. And, uh, oh, by the way, don't worry about the, uh, don't worry about the hospital. I, w I sold off one of our, uh, items and uh, was able to pay for everyone. Okay. I already talked to you. Okay. Uh, check up here. Inner Desco. Yeah, you, you tell them. You'll all go to space. I don't know why I keep saying space. Actually, I know exactly why. It's because Portal 2. <laughs> it is a thing I picked up and I did not put it down. It is my story. Alright, let's go. I also swapped out uh, the, some of uh, Fuka's equipment for other people's stuff. Uh, Sicily now has plus one move. I couldn't afford another pair of cross trainers for uh, Pingu, though. So he's going to be stuck with uh, only five move for a little bit. The green room. Gonna, we're gonna get chroma keying everything. Making the moolah. Oh hey there, Hog Miser. I never thought an idol could make me so much money. I will make this tour so successful, every demon in the netherworld will spend money on her! <laughs> Don't make me call the Phantom Thieves in here. Who's there? I see. So you're behind all of this, Hog Miser. You're... <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> what a woman! What? Don't look at me like that! There's your uh, TV Tropes article of the day. Prince, you're a chick now, remember? There's no way he'd recognize you. Prince? That pretty little lady is Prince Laharl? Exactly! I'm not going to explain anything because it's too much of a hassle. <laughs> you don't need to. Just say these words to me. I love you, Hogmiser. Hell no. What is that? You sounded like a country accent or something. Jeez, can you just bring Lanzarote out already? This is taking too long. You barged in here without permission, and that's how you treat me? What do you want with my money tree? Mahara wants to eat her up. Just bring her out. I see. Who would just bring her out after hearing that? She's a very important investment. I can't let you break her or anything. In that case, I'll just have to settle for beating you up instead. I won't let that happen. Security! Security! <laughs> I see a new I unit type. Powerful demons with my own money. Capture these trespassers! Huh. Don't take me so lightly. I'll show you the power of an overlord! No, you won't, Lara. We're getting a game over. I just don't get it. Big Brother, why are we doing this? 
<laughs> Unlike uh, the previous three chapters, the bad ending for chapter four comes in this stage. We just have to lose. Cecily, teach your big brother a lesson. Here I go. Here I go. Brace yourself. Father of two. Power of two? What? Bonk. Okay, Flan, let's solo this chapter. Flan. Don't try anything funny. <clears throat> How did this happen? Maybe we couldn't do our best because of all the changes our bodies are going through. Now's not the time to think about that. We need to escape. Do you think I would let you? you go with a few conditions. What do you say? Conditions? <laughs> like this. Prince Lahar could easily become the top idol in no time. Well, he'd be popular. If you will sign with me, I'll let everything slide. Slide. <laughs> Do you all want to die? Hey, Prince. We're gonna turn back pretty soon anyway, so you should just take the deal. Well, but... Laharl! Big Brother! Damn it! And thus, Laharl made his debut as an idol under Hogmiser's guidance. Laharl assumed he would revert right away, but there were no signs of him turning back. A few months later... Oh, Legma! Look at the sweatsuit issue! Wow! They made him do this pose? Not only that, look at this one! It's barely covering him! <laughs> I feel sorry for Big Brother. And so that is how Laharl became the Netherworld's next top idol. Well, that ending was straight to the point. <laughs>
guys all wanted me to say something too bad. Uh, let's check out my antimatter dimensions. Uh, that's, that's something. It's not enough of a something, but I'm just gonna do it really. How long does this song go on? Come on. I got like three other videos this episode to record. Come on. Broccoli. <laughs> that, that just makes me laugh. And here we go, uh, starting over. Welcome to Cycle 4! Laharl's a dude again. Good times. See you in the tent. The monster of the day is... The Zombie! Need I say more? It's a zombie. So, uh, you might notice zombies have an absurd amount of HP. It's kind of their thing. <laughs> Uh, zombies are, I guess, sort of tanky units. Sort of. Your abilities all focus around uh, recovery. Uh, they've got Predation, which recovers HP with a regular attack. Soul Eater, which recovers SP with a regular attack. And Corpse Cannibal, which recovers both HP and SP on a kill. Uh, honestly, I like both Soul Eater and Corpse Cannibal. If I were to take one into the item world, though, it would probably be this one. Let's, uh, let's go check out some, uh, monster skills. Poison Bite. We've seen this a bunch of times already. E-level attack power, and it inflicts poison. Om nom nom. That's what we say to you all. Oh yeah, and I guess it recovered the zombies HP too. Huh. Rotten headbutt. Uh, that is... Yes. Also recovers a bit of HP. Then, Zombie Tornado. It's wind type, C level attack power. Wanna die with me? Don't make fun of me because I'm rotten. Alright, I'll make fun of your voice instead, Mr. Zombie. Next up Zombie Power! Zombie! C class again inflicts poison. Let's go for it. Here I go. Ow. 
that zombie just kind of a shoot the whoop at him. <laughs> I am impressed. Alright, let's get Flan up here uh, riding on zombies. It's pretty great. Seriously, Flan, I was gonna show off the mountain skill and you had to whack some guys. It's like, how rude can you possibly get? Uh, let's try that again. But then, not you! This guy. Dimension Slash. It's a, uh, it's a lot of SP there. Zombie Blade! <laughs> okay, that, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> 